Hey guys, welcome back to the Shreve Crumpenlow YouTube channel. It's your host, Jack Tyler, and today we're gonna be kicking off a really fun series, something I've certainly been looking forward to for a while, called Pre-Owned Picks. I'm actually gonna head down to the watch salon right now and pick out a couple of watches that cover a wide variety in terms of price and complication for you guys to check out. Now let's start off with a watch that is well under the $10,000 mark, but certainly delivers a lot more. First up, we have the Brigade Type 20 Transatlantique Chronograph in stainless steel, which is honestly quite a mouthful, but it's also quite a watch. The Type 20 is Brigade's classic pilot's chronograph, and one that actually has some very serious history. The name Type 20 comes from a contract issued by the French Air Military when they were in search for a manufacturer for their pilot's watches back in the mid-50s. Brigade actually produced this watch for them from 1954 all the way until the late 70s. This watch is 40 millimeters in diameter, 14.5 millimeters thick, and 46 millimeters lug to lug. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on my six and a half inch wrist so you can see how it wears. Inside the watch, we have the Breguet Caliber 582Q, which is actually based on the Lamania Caliber 1340, known to be an ultra-reliable and rugged chronograph movement. So the reason I pulled this one out of the case today is this is a piece that you're probably not gonna see on a lot of wrists. For most people, if you're looking to get a chronograph that's got some aviation history to it, you're probably thinking along the lines of like a Breitling Navitimer or something like an IWC Pilot's Chronograph, not necessarily a Breguet. Some of the features that I think are really cool, little details would be the unguarded pump pushers. I think that's a really nice vintage touch. Uh, I like the brushed steel bezel. I think that really pops against the black dial, adds a nice bit of legibility. And also the handset is really cool. You've got these nice syringe style hands with the lollipop uh, chronograph hand. And I think overall it gives it a really nice vintage feel while still being certainly a modern watch. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into my second pick, which is the GG Le Colt Geophysic Universal Time in stainless steel. In my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful dials that JLC has come out with in quite some time. And when taking a closer look, you can see how wonderfully textured that globe is on top of a beautiful blue dial, and it fades to silver in the center. Now the watch itself is 41.6 millimeters in diameter and 12 millimeters thick. But as you can see here, again, on my six and a half inch wrist, it really wears quite well. It certainly carries a lot of presence. Just look at how the light plays with that dial. I think that's one of my favorite features of this watch. So what I think is really cool about this watch is actually its overall versatility and legibility. A lot of world timer pieces that have a bunch of different city names and you know they have the globe on the dial, they can really be hard to read just as like a general time only watch, which is why I think that this is gonna be a great piece for somebody to get as their first travel watch because you can wear it you know, just out to a ball game, you can wear it to the office as a time only piece, but then you can set the time to wherever city you're destined to once you get on the jet. Now, the movement inside this watch might actually be my favorite part after the dial. If you're new to watches, you might be looking at this thing and asking yourself, why is it ticking? Is this actually a quartz watch? Am I having the wool pulled over my eyes here? But actually, it's a mechanical deadbeat seconds hand that can be used to more accurately time necessary intervals. Now, this is a feature you probably actually aren't going to need, but it's super cool if you're a watch nerd like me. The JLC 772 is, of course, handsomely finished as well and is super pleasing to look at behind its display case back. Now, finally, for my last pick, I wanted to break out something truly special and unique to show you guys. This is the Patek Philippe Gondolo 5200G001 in white gold. Now, it's a bit of a lesser known reference, but I think it's a true exemplification of a very classy dress watch from Patek. Now, in terms of design, I would honestly take this over a run-of-the-mill Aquanaut any day of the week. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my wrist so you can just see how elegant this unique case shape wears. Now, considering how ultra rare this paddock is, I've actually never worn one before. And when I saw it in the case, I was thinking, huh, maybe this is gonna wear something like a Cartier Tank American or a Reverso. And honestly, as soon as I put it on my wrist, it was like both of those on steroids. I think the case shape is everything for this watch. It's so classy. It's got a real art deco vibe and certainly a ton of presence. Now, the dial itself is another standout feature. You know, I love that as you look at it in the light and rotate your wrist, even the slightest bit, you're gonna get all these beautiful hues of blue blue in there, all the way going to black in certain lights. The other thing that's cool about this is the power reserve. I mean, honestly, most watches, for me personally, I see the execution of adding the power reserve to the dial being something that detracts from the overall aesthetic, but Paddock being Paddock, they've done it in such a masterful way to, I think it actually enhances the dial and adds a lot of balance. 
All right, guys, that's a wrap for our very first episode of Pre-Owned Picks, and I certainly hope you guys had as much fun as I did checking out these unique watches. Now, if you're interested in any one of the timepieces that we've talked about today, we have them for sale on our website at treevecrumpandlow.com. And if you like this video, please do us a favor and hit the subscribe button below. Also, leave us a comment. We'd love to know what you think of each one of these pieces. As always, thanks a lot for spending a little time with us today. Thank you.